This is Dapu 7, and we are getting warning signs now that there's going to be more shortages, specifically in the Department of Beef. And as we've seen over the past couple years, when some of these areas get a run, and a lot of people come in and start clearing the shelves and taking one certain product, well, this catches up to other products. And we've seen this across the board the past two years. Now, they're saying because of different reasons added on top of what's been going on, we can expect to see a shortage in higher prices for sure in 2023 and 2024. Now, they go on to state that in terms of the United States, it comes down to the number of cattle. And farmers had a choice in the past year or so to take some of those cattle and send them off to the slaughterhouse or to keep them to spawn off new cattle, to keep the heifers, to be able to get new cows in the flow, in the line, as they do all the time. Well, they've changed things up. They've decided to send a ton of these just on off to the slaughterhouse, which in turn, they say, in the long run, within a year, by the next cycle, there's going to be way less cattle to go around by default because they didn't raise any. They also go on to say that there's less grass for, for these animals to eat. They cite the cost of food and other things going through the roof. And the cattle is just one aspect, really, of a lot of things getting hit here in this country. We've talked about the oranges, the citrus, it getting pummeled from the hurricanes which is something that happens almost annually. But this time it was rather devastating when it happened. You've got the cattle situation, as I just talked about, in Texas. And then you've got things like almonds in California that are affected as well. So the weather wreaking havoc on many different things, and they want to keep coming back and saying it's climate this, climate that. I feel like it's manipulation at the highest degree, causing all of this, if you want to call it this 1,200-year mega drought that has reached the Mississippi, I would pay close attention to the snowpack this winter because if it's anything like last winter, we're done. And I'm serious because all that melt-off equated to hardly nothing, and it got to a point to where even the Mississippi River was running low. Boats were just bottoming out a couple months ago because of it. And if we do not get the snowpack, we do not get the melt-off, we do not get this water flowing into the rivers, they're going to be running dry. You've already seen Lake Mead and all that stuff out west, how it's just shriveling up and dwindling away. The answer to all this, in my book, is to grow your own food. I know that's easier said than done, but this is really where it's going to be at. For those that can grow their own and trade it in a bartering system, what we've got coming around the corner with the CBDC and your whole world about to get rocked. Cash money being taken away. An underground barter system is going to be life for those that want, don't want to go onto the beast system. Things to think about. Join me on the live shows where I break this down further Monday and Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern on DAPU 777. You'll find links below. It's time to get a plan, y'all. Much love.